I am Kathy Orb, Director of Mission Services. Mission Leadership and Formation, Cohort 4, was given the task to go out and serve in the community. This was their mission assignment to serve the poor and the vulnerable in our community. And then they were to report back to the group. Sister Suzanne Hartung, Chief Mission Integration Officer states, all Providence leaders are committed to sustaining and building upon the Catholic heritage received from the sisters, fulfilling our mission and integrating our core values. Going into the future, Providence Health and Services must assure that its leaders are invested in, care deeply about, and are appropriately formed to promote and sustain its healing mission in ways that are consistent with the organization's Catholic identity. Cohort 4 decided to do this as a group effort. On September 14th, they participated in a health fair put on by the Providence St. Mary Medical Center and Walla Walla Catholic Parishes. The health fair was for our community, especially our Hispanic community. Here is their story. I was thrilled to be a part of the health fair this year. It seemed to me to be a huge success. Hundreds of people attended and took advantage of the free medical screenings, the useful information from many care agencies throughout the community, and of course the prize giveaways. I believe that this event would have made Mother Emily Gamlin proud. This segment of the Walla Walla community truly represents the poor and the vulnerable, the very ones that Emily Gamlin sought out and helped. These people waited in the hot sun for the opportunity to have their blood pressure measured, their cholesterol checked, and their glucose levels monitored, many for the first time in their lives. I was proud to be a part of the Providence St. Mary Medical Center volunteers that pulled the resources together and made such a difference in the lives of so many. David Jansen, and I'm the laboratory director. I'm here at St. Mary's, and I'm also part of the Mission Formation Cohort 4 team. So I got up in the morning, and my initial thought was, you know, how can I get out of this? I've got so many things that I've got to get done. And, and you know, frankly, the Seahawks were playing later on in the afternoon, and I'd love to be home watching that. Um, but, but I was committed, and so we rushed. My wife and I were both participating, and we rushed, got down there. Um, and, and on the way, I started thinking about it as we were driving, and I started thinking, you know, I need to get an attitude adjustment. It's going to be real obvious that I'm just going through the motions. And so I started thinking about it, thinking about what is it I'm doing here. And the thing that came to my mind was um, one of the statements that Mother Joseph had said to the sisters. It was one of her last words that she said to the sisters was, whatever concerns the poor is always our affair. And I thought, that's really why I work for Providence, and that's what it is I want to do. And when I got there, people were setting up. There was a lot of cheerfulness in the crowd. A lot of people were excited. People were already standing around waiting to go. Um, our piece of it was to do the cholesterol testing, my wife and I. And um, we knew that it was going to be a little slower and we were going to get a crowd, but we didn't anticipate the crowd that we were going to get at our, at our booth. Um, and it was a warm day and the crowd kept growing and it was amazing to me how many people stood in line for this eight minute test and how important it was to them. If I were going to a health fair because I have health benefits and I saw a long line, I probably would just walk on myself um, and, and not stand in that line. But this was obviously a need that they had. Um, they, they were willing to stand in line for it. Um, we engaged them in conversation. Um, we explained the results to them, and they just seemed so thankful for this service. And by the end of the day, I realized, you know, this was very meaningful. It was really important to, to them and to the community, and, and I was glad that I participated. Hello, my name is Susan Leathers and I help serve at the Community Health Fair uh, with the Stroke Education booth for the Latino population, which has a much higher incident of stroke than the general population. The Providence Mission has long focused on serving the poor and the vulnerable. In fact, it was something that I heard about the very first day I ever came to work for Providence St. Mary's back in 1975. I met one of the sisters the first day and she that's the first thing that she told me, that we serve the poor and the vulnerable, vulnerable here. So here I am in the reflection garden reflecting about 
my experience, and just who are the poor and the vulnerable. Sometimes I think that we have to go out, we think that we have to go out and find these people, that they're out there somewhere, that they're other out there somewhere else. But in reality, they're here all around us, our neighbors all along. So just across the street from here at St. Patrick's Church, what did I find when I thought I was there to serve? I found a people rich in spirit, a people rich in family. There were so many fathers and grandfathers with their family that Sunday. A people rich in patience. I heard not one complaint in the people waiting in line to get their blood checked on that hot day. A people with beautiful young girls and women dressed in their best for worship that day. I have to say at my church, most of us wear jeans. So I love seeing everyone dressed up in their Sunday best. A people who wanted to be healthy. The highlight of my day was a middle-aged man who approached me and said in halting English, God bless you. Thank you, St. Mary's, for trying to keep us well. At first, when we were planning to participate in this community health fair, I felt a little dismayed at the thought of it being on a Sunday, missing my usual church worship when I heard about this, because that's what helps me on my journey each week, revives me uh, for the hard wo work we have to do during the week, keeps me in balance and perspective in the world and not lost in the minutia of everyday life. But as the morning progressed, I realized I was in church, in fellowship with my co-workers and our neighbors, serving in the ministry of Christ, which is all about building relationships. There's a verse in Proverbs that says, the generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. And I have to say, I was watered by my neighbors that day, helping at the community health fair. Our foundress, Mother Emily Gamelin, was known as Mother of the Poor. We continue her mission of serving the poor and the vulnerable through our compassionate service. Providence St. Mary Medical Center Mission Leadership Formation Cohort 4 truly lived our mission that day, and I think they will keep this experience in their hearts forever.